This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Darren Johnson back with me. In the, well, you're not in the studio, but connecting with us by Zoom. Welcome back, Darren. Thank you, Kathy. And we've got Shelly Mitchell. Both of you are with the Old Town Kempfel BIA. Uh, Darren, you are the executive director. And Shelly, you're going to have to help me out with this. You're the chair of the marketing and promotion team. You're also yes. on the board. Yeah. <laughs> You've got <laughs> lots of hats to wear. <laughs> Lots of hats to wear. But we're here today to talk about Halloween because you, you guys always celebrate it really nice up in, in Kempville. Yes, thank you. Creepy Kempville. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, one of the events that the community looks forward to every year. That's right. And it's been going on for a long time. Yeah, I know uh, I'm fairly new to the scene. I've only been around a couple of years, but, uh, but Shelley's definitely uh, a veteran of, of Creepy Kempville. Well, you know what's nice about this, too, is it's, it's an opportunity for children to get out and celebrate Halloween and not be on the streets, to say. Right. So other than they're going to be in safe environments, they'll be visiting the stores. Maybe you can talk a little bit about it, Shelley. Sure. Uh, what I love, because I do love this event, and I'm trying to think of how long we've been doing it, and I don't have the exact years, but it's definitely probably been close to 10. I love that kids can come out and trick-or-treat during the day in a safe environment with their family and friends. And added bonus is, you know, they get to check out all of the businesses downtown. That's right, that's right. And you are the owner of, uh, which business are you the owner of, Shelley? To Be Continued, to the be consignment continued. store. That's right, that's right. And you're on Sanders Street? Yes, that's 207 right. Sanders. All right, all right. So let's talk about the day in itself too. What time does it start at, Darren? Uh, officially, it starts at 10 o'clock but we decided to do our costume parade uh, a little early so our costume parade is starting at 9 30 sharp so that's just we're encouraging everyone to get in their costumes all meet together at rotary park at 9 30 and we're going to do a, a costume parade up and down prescott street uh, for about a half an hour until 10 o'clock and then everything explodes <laughs> and and we're, we're, we're talking about October 29th, too, and, and that's the Saturday. Halloween is actually on the Monday. It is so nice, you know, right. for children to have a couple of opportunities to be able to wear their costume, too. Yeah, for sure. And, and I know that, uh, and I know Shelley can attest to this, too. Creepy Kempville, I think, for many families in Kempville in the area, has been used as their trick-or-treating, um, especially with little kids. Yes. like two, three, four, five-year-olds, mom and dad. This sort of allows mom and dad the opportunity, like Shelly said, to get out and see the downtown, do some trick-or-treating. And now they don't have to necessarily go out on Halloween night to go from, you know, house to house, neighbor, neighborhood to neighborhood to, uh, to do trick-or-treating there. So I think this is some of our young parents really appreciate uh, really appreciate creepy Kempville because it kind of saves them some 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 time I think absolutely and it is in the daylight hours too so that's sort of nice yes yes exactly. for sure so the day in itself you've got the costume parade like you say you're going to start at 9 30 there's contests there's scavenger hunts there's pumpkin carving <clears throat> all sorts of things going on plus the trick-or-treating <laughs> yes absolutely Hi, now, <laughs> Hi. oh go ahead Shelly Oh, I was just going to say uh, costumes, uh, prizes for the best costumes. We have some really great prizes this year for uh, costumes, for pumpkin carving, and for the scavenger hunt. Awesome, awesome. And, uh, and as well going on, Darren, uh, this, this event we're talking about, Creepy Kempfall, is October 29th. On October 28th, there's a pumpkin carving party from 3 till 8, and that's uh, sponsored by the Old Town Kempfall BIA and the North Grenville Historical Society as well. Yes, you're absolutely right. So this, we've got uh, the North Grenville Historical Society as part of our downtown here, and they've become a, a fantastic partner to work with. Um, they're engaged. They've reached out to us a number of times saying, you know, how can we help? How can we get involved? And uh, it's been great. So we came, um, we went to them and said, you know, how would you like to fit into things? So we came up with this idea that of giving uh, the community a space where they could come in and carve a pumpkin if they wanted to. So the BIA is providing the pumpkins. So people just, and the historical society is providing the volunteers and the space. 
So people just need to provide themselves to come in and do some carving. So and some it energy be a lot to carve. Fun. <laughs> and some yes. energy to carve. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Excellent. Yep. Well, th these sound like all wonderful events too. So we've got Creepy Kempfell October 29th. And then on the day before, October 28th, we've got the pumpkin carving party too. And I mean, we have to mention before we wrap up too, Darren uh, and uh, Shelley, Santa Claus Parade's coming up. Yay! <laughs> yes, I know, that makes me excited too. So November 19th, uh, North Grenville has, has said their date, it's November 19th at 4.30. So uh, it'll be after the time change, so it'll be nice and dark for all the lights and everything too. So looking forward to that. Yeah, a day parade in the dark, yes. That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> I got to say, Darren, your backdrop too, is that uh, Kempfell Creek? That absolutely is. That's uh, that's a shot I took from the bridge. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen uh, some beautiful shots of down there too, but there's a lot of kayak is it kayakers that have been going out at nighttime yes. with the lights on it, and those are some awesome oh. pictures. Oh, absolutely. Just, uh, I, I love watching them. Yeah. And it's it sort of presents... Um, presents an, an added element to the downtown it because really we've does. had this wonderful waterway there for forever obviously and we have we have never really sort of taken advantage of of this beautiful thing we've got there so we i think more and more we're going to try to look to somehow include the water in what we're doing it's it's not easy obviously uh to incorporate the water like that but we really would, it's it's such a wonderful asset. We really would like to use it more. Absolutely, it is beautiful, it is beautiful. Yeah. You guys have decorated it up nice. There's some artwork on the walls down there. It's really nice, really nice. Can so, I add one thing about Creepy Kempo? Sure. Okay, so um, this is our third year and uh, Darren has spearheaded this wonderful pumpkin walk that will be taking mm. place Friday, oh no, sorry. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday night of Halloween. So the reason we're asking the community to carve pumpkins um, through the event at the Historical Society, as well as uh, families can submit pumpkins to us on Friday night or Saturday morning. Um, and we have some partners now, we're partnering with the schools and we've got some art students carving pumpkins. So there's gonna be lots of lit pumpkins. Uh, so we're gonna welcome people to walk downtown, drive downtown, for those three nights to see all of the wonderful work our community has put into our carved pumpkins. And isn't it nice when the community comes together and does something like this? Because everybody's going to yes. have a little bit of input and in, in, in decorating the downtown. Yes. That's amazing. That's amazing. So Creepy Kempfell, October 29th from 9.30 till 1-ish. Mm -hmm. One-ish that day, and there's a pumpkin carving party the day before at, uh, uh, where is that going to be at? That, that's the North Grenville Society Hub, 148 Brock, uh, Prescott Street. That's right, right, yeah. right beside Bubba and Bugs. Okay, awesome. I'll, always provide directions by the nearest coffee shop. That's right, yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much for joining us. Darren Johnson and Shelley Mitchell, both from the Old Town Kempfell BIA and uh, you know putting on an event for our children and uh, all the community the people of the community too. Happy Halloween. Thanks Kathy.